Tease ass, boobs or ass. Dude, honestly, depends on the girl. You know, maybe they have both. But, you know, if I have to choose... I mean, if a girl has a good butt, then you're bueno. What's going on guys? You guys, you guys see this is my 20,000 subscriber Q&A. Thank you again for all the support. This is fucking unreal. You guys use the hashtag Parksy20k and there's some very interesting questions and some uh, some weird ass ones. If you didn't get in this q and I apologize. There were so many questions. I tried to, you know, just pick the ones that I could, you know, answer, you know, fully and, you know, that are the most, I wouldn't say most important, but the ones that are like, you know, are asked a lot. So if you didn't get in this Q&A, maybe it'll be in the next one. But let's get right into it. First question by my boy Snowcat. He asked, what's your embarrassing moment? What's your embarrassing moment? I think he says like the most embarrassing. So my most embarrassing moment was probably in high school and it was a rainy day. I think it was sophomore year. I was super tired from morning practice and everything. And I was going, we had this like huge staircase. I'm pretty sure I made a video on this and this is just god awful. There's this huge staircase going up to this new building where the science building was. And you know, everyone just rushes down the fucking hallway and stairs when it comes to like break or lunch. So you know, everyone's going down this fat staircase together, like 300 fucking kid i remember i had to like go do something i was in a really really rushed mood and you know it was raining and it was super slippery and there's like three sets of the stairs so like you go down a little bit and you can walk a little bit walk vice versa so me being my ball sack looking ass i was rushing down and i made it down like the first two flights of stairs and when i got to like the last one i slipped on the second step slid down my fucking butt two more flights of stairs and landed in a fat thing a puddle and about 300 kids saw me soaking wet thank you snowcat for bringing that back up to me that was god awful want to fight or i can't really see your ad i'm sorry i didn't fucking you know screenshot it correctly but do you think you will ever quit your job to do youtube full time if you guys know i'm at i'm doing school and i lifeguard in the summer you know this is the goal it is the goal to have youtube full time that would be amazing gotta just keep on grinding and hope for the best caspi asks how do you upload daily with your busy life honestly dude i cannot tell you like i honestly have no idea how i upload every single day with water polo and school that takes up most of my day so i try to you know on sundays and tuesdays i have to upload you know my original video for that day also, I have to make another video that day so I can edit and record it for, uh, you know, Wednesday because my Monday, Wednesday classes and, you know, water pool, it goes to like five. So I get to school at like 10 or 11 and then I have, you know, class, class and I practice and then I get home at like five or six and that's yes, usually when I upload. So I have to like, you know, plan wisely and honestly, it's, you know, it's a really, it's a fatty grind and, you know, it's just... I love uploading, so I'll do whatever it takes to upload every day. Ben asks, have you ever been recognized in public? And that is, yes, I actually have been recognized once. You know, of course, like all my IRL friends, you know, pretty much not do YouTube. But the one person I did not know that, you know, we're pretty good. We're actually like friends now. We're in, we're in a lot of classes. But he used to be like a, you know, pretty big fan of mine. And he actually go to, went to the school across the bay from me. And he used to do thumbnails for me. Never knew. And the first day of business class, last semester, he was in my class. And then we just started talking. And, you know, it was, it was actually really funny because, you know, he was, he was pretty stoked to meet me. But at the same time, now we're like friends so it's like no big deal but i'm probably gonna meet a lot of you guys at moj anaheim so that's gonna be in sam be like vlogging with carl alicia maybe gilly's going and con like all these like, you know noodles gonna be there and i think base is gonna be there so it's gonna be insane i'm gonna meet a lot of you guys and i cannot wait for that harvey asked favorite zero rc recruit my favorite zero rc recruit is definitely party he reminds me of myself and i'm not trying to say that in any cocky way but the way he like makes his cut comms like you know i don't watch that many people that make cut comms because there's i don't say there i wouldn't say there's a specific way the way that party like cuts his videos exactly where he ends his sentence and exactly where he starts his sentence, it makes it way more enjoyable and it like actually flows some people make cut comms and like they just like bounce all over the place and like if you actually have like a story or a topic to talk about you can cut them like perfectly but he's actually really good at that and like that's definitely one of my you know favorite zero rc recruits he's ass boobs or ass dude honestly depends on the girl you know maybe they have both but you know if i have to choose i mean if a girl has a good butt then you're bueno. Girl has nice boobs. Even more bueno. But if they have one or the other, I definitely got to go with boobs. I don't know. I'm just, I'm a boob guy. But at the same time, though, I, 
I like ass too. Balls ass, what's your favorite thing about doing YouTube? Definitely the feedback. Like when I get the feedback on my videos and like I always see people like, you know, just supporting me in my comment section, you know, the likes and ratings and like overall just like the feedback and the support is so insane with YouTube. It's addicting to get just so much support. I'm so grateful for you guys. You guys are unreal vapor ass how did it feel when you hit 1k subs by the way i love your videos thank you man i really appreciate that you know honestly hitting 1k was a big milestone for me because you know i didn't really have that much help you know when i was you know smaller and it was actually that's probably your first big milestone with youtube and then you know it goes 1k 5k 10k 20k and so on but 1k is definitely a big milestone because you know it's like one of those things like you finally hit a thousand subscribers you're not at 999 you're actually at a thousand subscribers i don't know for me it was you can go back you know like months ago and see my thousand subscriber video and i was very very happy zach snowy asked what's your favorite call of duty this one's a very hard one one, but I'll definitely do my top three and I'm not saying by if I'm like good at them or like you know I like them because you know I'm good at them I'm complete ass at half the ones that I actually really enjoy you know first off War of War War of War is such a good game and I just overall that is it's such a good game the campaign you know, you just gotta get the you gotta get the tanks out of there, man. Of course, I like AW Advanced Warfare. That was definitely a game changer for me. Like, I I started at the beginning of AW with 200 subscribers, ended with like 1K or something like that. I was really really good at AW. Like, I that was definitely one of my favorite games. And of course, you know, I like all the old Call of Duty's. Like, I love like I, of course I love Black Ops 2. And I love you know like Call of Duty 4 and like probably the third one that I have to do is probably Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is just such a good game, and I wish that we didn't overplay it as much as we did. But, you know, like, I would say most of the Call of Duty's are, you know, really, really good. Dylan asks, where do you think you would be today without Carl Alicia's help? Honestly, I would probably be at, you know, I hit 1K last year, February-ish. So, I honestly think I would be at, like, 2K, 3K, honestly. Because, you know, it's super hard to grow on YouTube. And without, like, you know, connections and help and friendships and, like, people supporting you, it's very difficult. And, you know, that's, I'm... You know, I'll be forever thankful for them. Matt asks, would you rather have a screwdriver in your dick or a knife in your ass? I would probably already, I would probably rather have a knife in my ass because imagine something going down your pee hole. Like, what the fuck? Like, imagine that. That is some bullshit. Like, imagine, like, I mean, both are fucking wrong. Knife up your ass? Like, what the fuck? Where your ass 